Grab an old coffee container or anything with a cylinder shape. Take off the original sticker if it has one. And then I wanted my base to have a neutral color. So I just began painting the coffee container with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I am using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge to apply the paint. This just leaves you with a nice smooth finish without having any of those brush strokes. Allow that to completely dry. And then I grabbed this four pack of plastic plates from Dollar Tree and just went ahead and painted those as well with that Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And go ahead and allow that to dry. Once that was dry, I then grabbed some of this natural burlap from Walmart. However, you could pick this up from Joanne Fabric or Hobby Lobby. Just cutting it up so that way it is just a little bit bigger than the plate. And then you want to just start hot gluing that burlap all around the bottom of the plates. And if you have any excess burlap, go ahead and just cut that right off. And then just use some more of that burlap to wrap around your coffee container. And once you have that burlap cut out, you then just want to hot glue the burlap right onto the coffee container. And again, if you have any excess burlap, go ahead and just cut that right off. However, for the top part, I did just hot glue that excess right into the inside of the top of that coffee container. Now you could leave the burlap as is. However, I wanted to paint mine. So I am using this cheap acrylic paint that I got from Walmart. And again, just using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge just to dab this color right on. And you wanna just do this to both the plate and your coffee container and then allow that to dry. And I love that it still has that burlap texture However, it's just a different color, so I was super happy with the outcome. Then, using some white acrylic paint, I just painted on some polka dots all throughout the plate and that coffee container. And allow that to completely dry. Once that is dry, now I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue to hold together the coffee container to the plates. Allow this glue to dry for about five to 10 minutes. And then I grabbed these bunny ear headband from Dollar Tree, went ahead and just cut the ears right off of the headband, super easy to do. Find a good placement for the ears in the front of your coffee canister and just hot glue those down. And just make sure you're hot gluing the back of the bunny ear onto the side of the coffee canister so that way the ears stay upright. And then I just had this green fabric. I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby. Just cut it into some small strips and then just made a crisscross bow out of them. So just pile the fabric right on top of each other, scrunch it up in the middle and tie it off with a piece of string. And then just cut it down to size to whatever size bow you want it to be. And then I just tied off some of this lace ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and then just hot glued that bow right in between the bunny ears. Look at how cute that is. And then you could just add whatever you would like inside of this container. I decided just to add in some floral foam, add in some fake flowers that mostly came from Dollar Tree. And there you go, guys. I had so much fun creating this, and I think it's a great accent piece for your home decor. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.